very long session. Uh, obviously, uh, we've had to extend it an extra week here. Well, we finish up today and we tend to sign and die today. Uh, we're very pleased with all of the things that the Mississippi Senate had to address in the House. Uh, we addressed everything from medical marijuana uh, to uh, funding teachers, which has been desperately needed so long. Now we have funded a quarter of a billion dollars for teachers in Mississippi to bring them up, yes, above the southeastern average. In addition to that, we funded $40 million to improve the school buildings in Mississippi so that they've got a good place to teach. Those are, that is the future of Mississippi. In addition to that, we have the most expansive infrastructure bill we've ever had in the state. So clearly, some of that came from federal funds, but the Mississippi legislature has devoted an additional $240 million to accelerate <coughs> the actual coverage here that you will see where we brought forward a whole year ahead of schedules. And I would emphasize MDOT picked these locations based upon the usage and necessary uh, uh, items that they deem appropriate. The other thing I would, I would, everyone needs to appreciate, I think, is the Mississippi legislature is not doing bonds this year. We're not incurring any debt. And in fact, over the next two years, we will write off approximately a half a billion dollars in debt in Mississippi, making our financial statement very strong for this year and for every year in the future. So when and if we ever have to borrow any money, we will have the most favorable rates because our finances are in order. So I want to thank all of those. We married, we married that with pay raises for people who really needed troopers, for example, who were at, at a place that they couldn't possibly even take care of their own families while they, <coughs> while they served the public. Same with sheriffs, uh, raises uh, for people in, in the state government. Uh, we continue to um, shrink the size of state government by reducing the number of pens, the number of employees that are here, but the people that are here that are working hard need to be compensated in a manner that's commensurate with the actual money that's paid, by, uh, uh, paid in the public market. We continue to hear so many times we were losing good, valuable employees to the private market. So th this year we did something called SEC squared, which means that we brought our employees up Closer, much closer to a market value, and in many cases to a market value, where we're now, we can now hold them employees that are so important uh, to us. We, we passed um, with little, really op opposition, amazingly, the Inflex bill this year. For four or five years, the, uh, they have, we have attempted to pass Inflex, which is the bill that provides tax incentives and credits for small to medium-sized businesses to come in to Mississippi. Uh, it was held up two years ago. It came out this year. It was supported by every economic developer in the state for at least the last four or five years, and certainly by the Mississippi Economic Council and others. So we were able to pass that quietly this year. I was very pleased with that. Mississippi's wheelhouse really is small to medium businesses and their growth in our, in our state, and, and we want to be attracted to our state. Obviously, we had a, a, the largest tax decrease we've ever had in Mississippi history came out this year. Uh, through the work of the, the House and the Senate over the next four years, we eliminate the 4% bracket next year. Then we, we reduce the bracket down to 4% from 5% for all Mississippi taxpayers. That puts us, I think, fifth or sixth among all states uh, other than the ones that don't, ta that don't show an income tax. They tax them through real property, obviously but uh, that don't show an income tax. We're like fifth or sixth now in the country. There is no barrier to doing business in Mississippi because we have the lowest tax rates, the best incentives, and the most qualified person, people are being trained in, in our educational institutions. In addition to that, you'll see when we do the, what's called the transfer bill and the other works that are coming out, a huge investment in our community colleges, our, our university systems, as well, as well on their building and infrastructure needs that, need, need, that, that they need there. But clearly, under any stretch, the Mississippi legislature performed this year. And I think we should all be very proud. Very difficult issues, from marijuana to teachers, from businesses to you pick it. Uh, they, they teed them all up and every, we addressed every single one of them. Um, 
lots, lots to go back and look at, I think, historically and what happened in the Mississippi legislature this year.